Okay, people, so, yo, just checked out a new uh, little indie thriller film, which, yeah, definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. So, the, this film actually, it, it kind of goes by two names. Well, I say it kind of goes by two names. If you look for it, you'll find it under two names, right? The, the name <laughs> in which you will know it as, as the disappearance at Lake Elrod, right? Now, its other title seems to have been Through the Glass Darkly, which you kind of do understand, but on its own, that, I, I understand why they changed the title. On its own, that is a bit just like, huh? What? You know, it, it's too vague. Right, it's trying to be a bit too clever, and people, yeah, it's not as enticing. But whereas the disappearance at Lake Elrod, it's kind of generic, but people that like that sort of thing, people that like a thriller, a missing person jaunt, they will understand and they will gravitate to this pick, right? That's what you try to entice people with a title. So I understand why they may have changed changed it. So um, that was a scratch, not pick. It's not a pick, okay? Just putting that out there. So this is from director Lauren Fash, who also co-wrote with Susan Graham. Now, they both also produced the... the uh, Piece, along with Autumn Bailey and Camilla Casnelli. I feel that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the music is from Stephen Webster. Uh, cinematography is Damon Horan. Um, it is edited by Lisa Zeno Chirpin and Arbian Van Zyl. Uh, casting is Lisa London and Catherine Shroud. Production is Dana Watson. Art direction, Amber Goodrum. Okay, and our cast. Well, people, our cast. We have um, ooh, Robin Lively, who plays Charlie. All right, we've got... Bethany Ann Lind, who plays Angela. Uh, then we have got Shanola Hampton, who plays Amy. We've got Michael Truco as Trip Carmichael. Um, Judith Ivy plays his mother, otherwise known as Mama Carmichael. <laughs> yeah, no, doesn't really get a name. Uh, we got the bartender Cricket, who play is played by Mary, sorry Kerry Cahill. Uh, we have Kayla, who is played by Karina Norman. Uh, Bo, played by Nicholas Logan. Uh, we have Belinda Jones, who is played by C.C. King. We have Braden, the police de deputy, is played by Vince Foster. Oh, Bo's the police chief. Yeah, Bo is the police chief. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, I feel they're the, like, oh, Magnolia is played by Susan Graham. She, she slots herself up in the piece. Boy, hey, that's three paychecks for old Susie. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, Bo isn't. No, the the sheriff ugh, is played by Stan Houston. The sheriff Walker. Um, Sylvia Carmichael is played by Alicia Davis Johnson. Um. Or who else do we have? Uh, Troy, who's played by Ham Hamilton Sage. Yes, this Troy is, yeah, he's uh, 
to the important person up in the piece, I feel. Um, Rosalie is played by Christy Taylor. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Right? Oh, and we shouldn't forget Lily. Lily, who is played by Kinsley Isla Dillon. Okay, so the gist of the uh, the gist of the film is actually let's go to this one. It is a bit easier to uh, to probably break down. I feel. Um, okay, so we all right. A year after. Charlie's daughter disappears. Another girl from Elrod, uh, Georgia, goes missing. Convinced there is a connection, Charlie draws suspicion and contempt from local law enforcement and townspeople alike as she stops at nothing to expose its most devastating and darkest secret so uh yeah there you have it now this man there is a good few layers in this piece right a good few layers and it is pretty smart i have to say it's pretty smart you know i think there are things that you do i think you would surmise right there's a few things later on in the film characters that you could probably, I don't know, it might just be me, but I was a bit like, I kind of feel that that person could be, or that person could be. But I will say, a lot of the stuff you, you don't, right? You don't pin together. Now, I think because you have to really pay attention to everything that is said, because if you do, there are seeds planted from the very giddy up, right? From the start, people, there are these seeds. But you have to listen and understand the flow of things, right? Then you're like, oh. So, it, I, I, yeah, I did enjoy the way they put it together. So we open up with a, a voiceover from Charlie. Right, we see a woman stapling a missing person sign onto a lamppost. And we, yeah, we hear Charlie talk about time and situations, you know, loved ones and all of this. Right, then we see her go to a bar. And uh, yeah, she's talking with a bar woman. And, um, you know, she goes home. But the but the whole thing is, what we do kind of see from the start as well, is that Charlie, she's having issues, right? She's on some sort of medication, and she's having some sort of issues. Now, we don't really know what those issues are, right? But we, yeah, you can fathom something, and... Yeah, there's a, like a dizziness, right? But then there's also this, you get this creepy sense of something. So all of this is here. And yeah, so, you know, she's in this bar and she hears about another girl that goes missing, which kind of triggers her. You could see that, right? And I do feel... The way they depict a lot of this stuff, right? The way they depict her having these moments, it is handled very well, right? Because, yeah, there's a lot involved in it. And the way they do it, it's not giving too much away. It's not making you suspect a certain thing. You know what I mean? You're, you're in this story. So you're watching the story, and so this affects her. She goes to the police station, and yeah, we then see, right, that 
the police they don't you could you you sense they're tired of her bothering them right tired of her bothering them but you know this missing girl's parents are what well, her dad is at the station and uh yeah you you surmise they're from money right so now the police are dealing with him and she's a bit like oh okay you won't find my missing daughter but you'll find he right so we have this you know financial inequality right and it's something that you know uh it, it, it's been you know in the zeitgeist right everyone's talking about this at the moment now not in the context of this film but i feel it, it's something people understand right and you'd be like oh man it's always these divides right divides in society so i think mean, straight away you're you're feeling for charlie right you're feeling for charlie but you also understand this is going to be an issue right this is going to be an issue so she goes home and her her, her partner her wife yeah she's a bit like you be drinking again so then we kind of think oh there could be a drinking problem because she is at the bar a lot right and yeah there's the story you know starts to unfold starts to unfold but again we we have to pay attention to what what's going down right now things take a turn as you would guess that they would right and you know now reporters are there which you know a wealthy family they, they have an issue yeah reporters are always there now one reporter you know charlie has one of her episodes reporter helps her which then you 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 see this kind of bond right so you understand okay this is going to be a thing going forward right and now the reporters involved it allows for the story to divulge more information right and as we go on we get more breadcrumbs on what the fuck is going down and yo they don't i i, I feel they handled this so well so well because there's so many levels of intrigue. You don't know which way to look, people. No one sells out on their performance. No one. Right? You, you, you're you believing everything. You're believing everything. You are, you know, hooked. Hooked because you, you start to understand. Because I feel by this point, you may have picked up on a few things. You're right, you may have picked up on a hey. If you haven't, no shame, no shame. We ain't judging you, people. We ain't judging you. You know what I mean? Hey, it could be a long day, or maybe you just don't pick up on stuff. It's fine because I'm sure you have your strengths in other places. But by this point, a lot of people may have picked up on a few things, which, right it keeps you on the edge of your seat because you are like okay which way are they taking this what are they gonna do now right and i love that i i love the fact that they do keep you guessing and when we do get this this big revelation you are like oh that's smart because i think you may have suspected something but maybe not to the extent of which we are then shown and then the that you know what I mean? it adds even more right so this is the thing you might think ah oh, they blew their load too early oh no they didn't they were saving some people trust me and yeah i do feel this film does deliver right does deliver bro so for a little indie pick, hey, this carries it 
definitely like some of the bigger films of this ilk, right? And I'm talking, you know, like Woman on a Train, um, Woman at the Window, you know what I mean? Gone Girl, right? It is one of those type of films. So if you enjoyed those, I think this, you you you, you like this, right? It, it unfolds a bit like a memento, not quite, but I use memento because I, I feel that's a, a kind of, a, 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 it gives you a bit of an insight to the, 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 the flow of information, you feel me, right? But yeah, no, I was very impressed, right? Very impressed, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Enjoyed the hell out of it, people, you know? Because, yeah, I feel it gives you something a little bit different. Gives you something a little bit different, and that is what you want, right? That's what you want. So yeah, people, the disappearance at Lake Elrod, I'd say it's worth checking, and you can check it, because it is out Monday, the 1st of November, yeah, the 1st is a Monday, right, um, and it's going to be available on Amazon, Apple, you know, maybe just any of your favourite VODs, people, so, the disappearance at El, Lake El Rod, you know what I mean? I, I, yeah, I think if you were into your thrillers, missing people, suspense, then this is one for you. So, yeah, you don't want to miss it, people. Go check it out.